Jennifer with Mindful Movement, Mindful Living, and I am here today with Mindful Movement Break. It's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, before we begin, if moving more and moving well and living well are things that are important to you and that you're interested in, please take a second now and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell, and that will ensure that you don't miss a video and that we can all really continue along this wellness journey together as a community, encouraging each other. Now, for our movement break today, we're going to use one of my favorite props, and it's one of my favorite props because it is so convenient to use and can do so many things. It's so versatile, and it is the resistance and ta-da, um, one of my favorites. It really, it's inexpensive. It takes up very little space. I mean, you can basically just keep this in a little drawer um, or bag or, you know, a little bin in your home or, or in your office. <laughs> so um, you're always at the ready for a movement break, which is so nice. I always say um, when traveling, this is a great one to take. You know, it's so easy to pack in a suitcase. So it's one of my favorites because it is so versatile and you know it's inexpensive it's just very accessible type of you know exercise prop so we're going to use that today for there is some balance in our movement today so if you'd like to set up near a wall or a sturdy piece of furniture you can certainly do that and we'll get ready to move we are going to work in a short amount of time and in a small amount of space we will be able to fit in balance strength alignment and mobility all at the same time. So, you ready? <laughs> let's get going. So let's get moving. To start, I'm just holding the resistance band in my hand. We're gonna align ourselves first so that when we start moving more, we have a really nice alignment and we can really get the most benefit out of our movement. So to start, we're gonna have a neutral parallel stance. So our feet, We'll be tracking straight ahead. We're not towing out or in. And then they'll be about hip distance apart. Meaning that from your hip bone, you could just about drop an invisible line down to the middle of each ankle. So we're not out in a really wide stance and we're not in a really narrow stance. Just our neutral parallel. So we'll start with that. And then we're going to just do a few pelvic lists here to practice our balance and really start to wake up the lateral hips before we start moving in bigger ranges of motion. So from here, we're gonna just start to lift our left foot up off of the floor by pushing the outer right hip sort of down. And then we'll lower down and then we'll switch sides. So we're not hiking up from the waist, but we're pushing down from that opposite hip. Now I'm exaggerating this a little bit so that you can see it more easily. You don't have to be doing a really big range of motion. I just want to make sure you can see I'm moving. <laughs> so that's, sometimes it's hard to tell on camera. And also, this is already starting single leg down. So should, it's a nice one to give a sense of how you feel if one side feels different than the other. And also, it will give a sense of if whether or not maybe you wanna be near a wall when you're doing single leg balance today or a sturdy piece of furniture. So that's always a nice option as well. If being safe in our movement is really important as well. So we'll come back to center, back to that neutral parallel stance. And now let's pull out that resistance band. So we're gonna take our band really securely underneath our right foot. So make sure it's always nice, nice and secure. It's not gonna slide out from under your foot. Well, once the band's under there, we're returning to that neutral parallel stance. And then we're just, just gonna take the, your left leg out to the side. It can be a smaller movement or a bigger one. See what feels okay for you right now, along with a bicep curl. And the bicep curl is gonna be sort of like a hammer curl. So we're gonna have our palms facing in and just the shoulders nice and open. So from here, let's just take it up and down. Good. Now you can always choke up or down on that band if you need to. So if you want more tension, you can choke up a little bit more on that band. If you need a little less tension, just release the band a little bit. Good. So strength, balance, and alignment. We'll do three more here. Three, and in, two, <laughs> feel more challenging now, and last one, nice. So coming up 
coming back to our neutral parallel. We're gonna keep our band under our right foot and take our left leg and step it back into a crescent lunge position. So that front shin, when we bend down in our lunge, will be just about, uh, just about vertical. So the knee just about over the ankle. And our tailbone is going to point to the floor as best we can. So we just get a nice opening in that hip as well, in that back hip. So now from here, what we'll do is we're going to come down into our lunge and we're going to bring our arms out to the side and then just come back up. And just out and up. Go ahead. Out and up. Just being mindful that we don't let that knee like wobble around, right? So try to keep it tracking with the foot. Good. When the arms come out to the side, watch that we're not shrugging the shoulders. So we want strong shoulders, but not tense or stressed out shoulders, right? Good. One more here. Down and up. Good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put those two together. So a little more balance and strength challenge. And a lot of core work here as well, core stability to help us feel balanced. So we're working the lower body, the core, and the upper body all at the same time. Very efficient. So here we go. So we're going to take it out to the side, center, and then back into our lunge. Center, side, and back. Good. Side, and back. And if you feel a little wobbly, that's okay. You can always go smaller or slower. Use a piece of furniture. You can do it without the band. Up. <laughs> and side. Good. Up. Starting to feel this. <laughs> and side. Three more of these. Good. I love, we're getting strength through the whole body, balance, and then also a nice stretch on the way down in that lunge, opening the front of the hip, stretching the bottom of the foot. There's our last one. And up. now we're going to come up. We're going to hold this side leg. We'll take the arms out of it. Now from here, let's point the foot. And then just little circles. Try to keep the hips nice and stable for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then reverse. Same thing. Try to keep the pelvis nice and stable, which is where the core comes in. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to take our left leg. One more thing on the side. We're going to take our left leg back into our lunge again. And this time we're just going to take that left knee to start to straighten it and bend. Straighten. If it doesn't straighten all the way, that's fine. So just always work in a range of motion that feels really comfortable for your joints, especially that you don't feel like you're straining or tensing or forcing anything. So really just listening to our body. We might all be doing a little bit of a different variation, and that's totally fine. And two, it's a nice stretch to the back hip all the way down to the toes, and coming up. Good, so we finished side one. Here comes side two now, so we'll release that band. We ready for side two? So remember, one side might feel a little different than the other, so feel free to adjust your range of motion, or grab a sturdy piece of furniture or move next to a wall if you need to on this side. So now let's take that resistance band and we'll place it really securely underneath our left foot. So nice and secure. We'll return back, sort of like our home base, right? We're coming back to that neutral parallel stance, which is a great position to practice because it should sort of be our home base in everyday life as well. So from here, let's start with our lateral leg lift in our hammer curl bicep curl. Here we go. So we're going to take it out and back. Now you can always choke up or down on that band if you need to. And up and down and up. So notice how this side feels. Core muscles, again, they're working to help stabilize the pelvis. So what's not moving is often working just as hard as what is moving, right? And three, and two, and one. Good. Back to parallel neutral. Now let's take this right leg and step it back to our lunge. So crescent lunge, we're going to keep that front shin vertical so knee stays over the ankle as we bend. And here we go. So we're going to take it down, arms go out to the side. 
and then back up and out and up. Good. It's a little stretch on the way down from the hip flexors down to our toes here. Keeping those shoulders nice and relaxed. So watch that we're not shrugging the shoulders. Nice long neck. Good. Two more here. And the last one. Good, let's take it up. And let's put it together. So here we go, now we, now we know it. So we'll put it all together. So let's start with that side leg lift, bicep curl. And then we'll step it back to our lunge. And side. And back. And side. And back, good, I love this combo. I just get so many things at the same time. <laughs> and back, good, side, and back, good. So think strength, balance, alignment, mobility, all kinds of good things. So good, one more. And back, good. So now we're coming up, we're going to balance. One more time, again, on this other, on this left leg, we're gonna take our right leg out. Maybe point the foot, it can be as high or as low as feels good for you. And now let's just circle that leg, keep the hips nice and still. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Reach that leg nice and long. Two, and one, and then reverse. Four, 10, nine. Eight. So strength and mobility around the hips. And five, four, three, almost there. Two, and one, good, coming back. Now let's take our right leg, step it back to that crescent lunge one more time. And now we'll take this right knee, begin to straighten and bend. Just rocking out that back leg, getting a nice release through the hip, again, all the way down to the toes. This front leg is still working a bit here, right? Sort of like a single leg squat on the front leg. Nice stretch on that back leg. Again, if you cannot straighten the knee all the way, that's fine. So always use a range of motion that feels really good for you. Let's do two more here because it feels great. And last one. And coming up. Good. So we'll release that band. We'll shake out the legs. From here, let's balance on, that, uh, on the right leg. Just flex the left ankle, cross it over the right thigh and then we'll back the hips up. Now you can do this also sitting on a chair if you wanted to or holding a wall. Nice hip release, we're still balancing, <laughs> we're still strengthening, we're also getting a nice hip release. Still staying efficient. <laughs> and coming up, and then other side, so from that neutral parallel, we'll just flex the ankle, cross it over, send the hips back. It's a little release there, feels really nice. Feels like some work, but still also a nice release. Good multitasker. And coming up, and we did it. We worked strength, balance, alignment, and mobility all, all at the same time in a short amount of time with only one really simple piece of exercise equipment, and we did it. So thank you so much for joining me today. It is always so nice and encouraging to be moving together as a community. So I thank you for joining me. I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're feeling more balanced, feeling stronger, more aligned, more mobile, all kinds of good things. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.